I wonder if we've got any kind of deep dark biome around here. I don't see any sign of it. How? Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That not just a deep dark biome. We know what that is. That's the actual ancient city down there. We just hit payload, people. Look at all this. We've got all this loot. I'm having that. Magic, bottles enchanting, name tags, all sorts. That. Why has that just gone dark? Oh, my potion ran out. I am definitely going to be regularly blowing my horn. Isn't that brilliant? It is time for some avamance here, and I've got absolutely no idea what is going on in this episode. But we are in Minecraft 1.19.2, which means it will probably involve frogs and wardens, which makes me nervous and excited. Let's crack on with it. Hello everyone and welcome to Avamancia, my Minecraft solo, not so solo survival world. Because it's here, right at the heart of Avatopia, my incredible patron server. And what's really exciting is this is the first episode of Avamancia that I have filled in Minecraft version 1.19.2. Yep, all of the servers on the Avaverse are now upgraded. So obviously, we've got to go and find an ancient city and a mangrove swamp. Otherwise, quite frankly, what's the point in upgrading it? Avamancia is really starting to take shape. The city is growing hugely and I've got a lot of terraforming and a lot of building to do. And since the last episode, I've added this cute little area right here. I need to get myself building into those hills right behind me. So I'm not quite in the diamond patron area, but I certainly need to grow in that direction. And this little glade with a few trees and houses is a great start. Although the other side of that hill, I've got some serious building competition. The diamond community do not mess about when it comes to a build competition. They are going for it. But I reckon I am up to the challenge. I need some more big buildings. I need a lot more small buildings and I need to make it look like it is lived in. But before I do that, I want to slap a warden across the face. Yeah, I know, the warden's more likely to give me a slap. But I don't care, so let's go and have a bit of a wander. Now, I've got it on good authority that the nearest mangrove swamp is about 6,000 blocks away in about a northwest direction. So we're going to go and have a look for that first. And then there's an ancient city about 3,000 blocks away in a northeasterly direction. And we'll go and grab that once we've done the mangroves because I've got a plan for the mangrove swamp. Or at least I've got a plan to nick stuff from the mangrove swamp. It is dead handy when your solo world is multiplayer because other people do the searching for the interesting stuff for you and then you just go and have a look and it's right there. None of that wasted time. It's not cheating, it's cooperation. So let's go and have a look and see if we can't find something interesting. It is over in this direction. Actually, no it's not, I've gone the wrong way. It's over in this direction. While flying, I have found this awesome little base. How cool is that? We've got mushrooms, I'm not gonna go in it. We've got mushrooms. We've got little kind of farmy little area there. We've got a big old pirate ship. We've got this kind of nether wood stuff going on. This is so cool. And they've marked something really massive out here. This must be the plan. Can you see the plan? This is huge. Oh, I'm going to keep this one in mind. I've just got the coordinates. I've noted them down. And I'm going to come and have a look at this one in the future. Just to see if anything else is happening with it. That is cool. And speaking of cool, there's even more stuff over here. I've not gone in this direction very much. I really should a little bit more look. So if we start over here, we've got like a Temple S type deal going on there. We've got a Viking ship going on there. And then we've got this really beautiful tower. I love that. It's kind of Eye of Sauron-esque, but a little bit less evil. Isn't that gorgeous? And I am just coming on it right now. It looks like a big one right next to this bamboo jungle and a normal jungle as well. In fact, this is huge. I'm really happy with this. We are at around about 3,800, 5,400 for the people on the server that want to come and have a go and nick some of this gorgeous, gorgeous mangrove. I've got some collecting to do and I can already see a few of the little targets that I'm after. I'm not looking for cows. What I'm looking for are these fellas obviously but i want more than one i want two because i want to breed them up and also want some of these let's grab that did i pick it up no i didn't right brilliant so there we go we've got a proper gill there i want a few of these because i want to get some mangrove trees going a little bit more locally otherwise it's going to be a pain to come here every time and it's to collect them i'm gonna dig a little hole i think i want kind of a a little three by three nine hole and i'm gonna grab myself some water and i'm going to fill it up with water because frogs love a bit of water don't they let's make a little bit of infinite water source there pop that there and that should turn that all in i can then take that and fill that back up again what i've got is my slime balls so i'm going to grab some slime balls because 
This frog should find me very interesting. There you come. Come to me, frog. Are you coming? You are coming. Because I saw a little mate over here, I'm sure. Come come with me. Come with me. Yeah, look, there's a little mate here. Frog, come this way. Come, keep coming. I've got someone I want you to meet. Look, over here, look. Look. Isn't he beautiful? Come here. Come this way. I'm about to make a beautiful moment happen. Two of these lovely little white frogs. One little slime ball for you. One little slime ball for you. Come on, crawl, crawl together. Crawl together. You know you want to. I'll have that experience. And one of you's got to go into the water. Which one's going to go into the water? Okay. No, the, the water's right there. It's right next to you. What's the matter with you? Well, it took a while and I need some persuasion, but eventually we got just a little bit of frog spawn in that pond. I'm going to try breeding this up again another few times or maybe find some other frogs to bring in. And then I'm going to collect up the tadpoles in my buckets. That took a lot longer than I thought it would, but we've got six frogs roaming around there and I've already got three lots of frog spawn going. I'm going to collect up some mud whilst I'm here, I think. So I've got three tadpoles swimming about. So I'm just going to grab that one there. I'm going to grab... That one, come here you, come here. That one there, and I'm gonna grab, where's the last one? It's there, that one there. Three tadpoles in a bucket, that's quite exciting. I'm officially tadpoled up. I'm just gonna go back to base. I've already grabbed, look, all of this mud and all this mangrove log as well. I'm really happy with that. I am just floating back into Avermance here, right here. And I've got some gift boxes apparently that Thunder and Trin want to give to me. So let me just land up and I'm gonna send them a message and tell them to come and meet me at this spawn area. I wonder where they are. Hopefully, they won't be too far away. Right, it looks to me that they're both coming here. Look, how you doing, Trin? How you doing, Thunder? What are you giving me? What are you giving me? Hang on. Oh my goodness, you're giving me a load of tadpoles. Look at that. I've got tadpoles. I've got mangrove roots. I didn't get any of those. That's amazing. Trin, you are an absolute star. Thunder, what are you going to give me? Oh my goodness. I'm picking that up as well. What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, this is amazing. Thank you. We've got some skulk stuff. That's fantastic. I'm very excited by that, Thunder. Thank you so, so much. Trin, thank you. I really appreciate it. That's a brilliant gift. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the deep dark now, actually, just so as get my own. But I really appreciate that because I know I'm gonna die. And that means that I'm sorted. Because look, I've got all the stuff I needed. Selfie time. <laughs> oh, Thunder, don't run away. Don't run away. We're all here, look. We're all here. Thunder also just gave me this goat horn. And I'm going to be honest with you. I have never, ever blown one of these. Never once. So I'm going to do it now. And I have no idea what's going to happen. This is a virginal experience. Let's give it a go. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm going to do it again. Oh, no, I can't. It's cooling down. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Please, please. I love the fact that it goes to your mouth as well. How stupid is that? I am definitely going to be regularly blowing my horn. Isn't that brilliant? I just want to get myself to the deep dark and that ancient city. I don't know exactly where it is. I know roughly where it is and hopefully we can find it. On the way, I'm going to hop over to the lobby world because there's a few people that I'd really love to introduce to you. This is the Hall of Heroes, the home of the wonderful people that have decided to become patrons or members of the channel. I want to introduce you to a few, but if you do want to skip this part, I do totally understand. There's a timestamp in the description and up on screen, but it'll only be a couple of minutes, so please do feel free to stay around. If you'd like to get involved in Patreon and get all of the benefits that it gives you, then visit avamance.com. That is avamance.com for full details of this and all the perks. I'm going straight up to the Redstone Hall, my tier two patrons, which gives you Avatopia access so you can visit me in Avamance here. And here they are, what a motley crew they are too. Lady Viv, thank you so, so much for becoming a Redstone patron. I feel like I've known you forever, but I really appreciate the support. I'm hugely, hugely grateful that you take the time to become a Redstone patron. Hemp Tank, Hemp, what an amazing sight to see you up on that Redstone block. Thank you so, so much for the support, and I'm really looking forward to getting to play with you on the servers. Fan Cults, already on the server. It's brilliant to have you. Thank you so much for becoming a Redstone patron. I really, really appreciate you. You look fantastic in that red armour. Misharia, I'm sorry if I've just completely wasted your name, but I'm really grateful for you becoming a Redstone patron. Thank you so, so much for that support. I really appreciate you. Sir Hawk, been a part of the community for so, so long. It is brilliant to have you up on that Redstone block. Thank you so much for the support, mate. It's brilliant to have you as part of the community. You're already core. And Maith, known you for ages too. Fantastic to see you in that red leather armour. Really, really appreciate you. Thank you so, so much for becoming a Redstone patron. 
and Brazil or BRZL, I don't know. Thank you so much for becoming a Redstone patron. It is amazing to have you up on that block and I hope this can-can doesn't cause you to get too strong an arm. And down on the bottom, that dude, Zach. Zach, thank you so much for becoming a Redstone patron. I really do appreciate it. Looking fantastic in red leather armor right in the middle of that front row can-can. Solar. Solar, I feel like I've known you for ages. Thank you so much for becoming a Redstone patron. It's brilliant to have you. I really, really appreciate you being part of this amazing, amazing group. And Cairo Rosa, again, you feel like you've been around forever. Thank you so much for becoming a Redstone patron. End of the can-can. I hope you've got a really, really strong right arm. Thank you so much. I'm gonna pop up one level to the Iron Patrons Hall. And this is my overly optimistic Iron Patrons Hall. A little bit empty, but you can fill it up. Redstone patrons or brand new people can come along because upgrades are allowed. And I've got one a brand new Iron Patron that I wanna introduce you to. And that is Vivid Shadow. Vivid, thank you so much for becoming an Iron Patron. I'm so pleased to have you up there, known you forever. But that iron ore block really sets you off beautifully. Fantastic to have you in the group. And I'm so very, very grateful, Vivid. Thank you so much for becoming an Iron Patron. So that's the patrons and the members, but there is one other group of people that are absolutely amazing that support me through commenting, liking, sharing the videos, and coming into Discord and just being part of the community. They're in my mate space, and I've got one new mate that I want to introduce you to now. Let's get over there. And the mate space lives right in the heart of the Aververse. I've got Skyblock over there. I've got some secret stuff that we won't talk about right now. But under this tree, which is the entrance to Quarrycraft, my completely free to play, no whitelist SMP, lives the mate space right in its roots. You can come along and have a look at there. Just look at the people. It'd be great to have you. Let's go and introduce you to a brand new mate. Blue Signs Show, Avamancia Season 1, coming round into the yellow signs for Avamancia Season 2. And the green signs for this season, Avamancia Season 3, who's going to be Episode 12. Grimmer, Grimmer, thank you so much for being part of my team. I really appreciate everything that you do for me. And it is brilliant to be able to get you into this mate space. You are so much more than the mate. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. And now we better get back to Avamancia because I've got some deep darkage to get on with. Let's go. There are some absolutely amazing people in that Hall of Heroes and the mate space. Really appreciate each and every one of you. I have found myself on the edge of this snowy tiger biome, right next to this frozen ocean with some huge icebergs. And I have got it on good authority that the ancient city is somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where, but somewhere around this. So I'm gonna start digging. And I figure the lower I go, the easier it's gonna be. So if I start my digging coming onto this ice and I dig into this wall, theoretically, and surely that should be the way forward, right? I have come prepared for this one. I've got a load of night vision potions. There are only threes. I didn't make them big. I don't know why I didn't make them big, because I'm an idiot. And then I've got instant health potions, a couple of them, some torches, some food. Don't really need the firework rockets anymore. Some empty shulker boxes. And I'm just gonna dig myself a stair down. This could take a little while. I'll be back a bit later. Okay, part way down, I found this quite big cave. Oh, hang on, no, don't get sucked in, man. for goodness sake. And we've got a zombie that wants a little piece of us. So I'm just going to try and avoid him. I don't really want to go into the cave. How deep is it? It's fairly deep. I'm just going to disp... Oh, creeps as well. I'll tell you what. You kill him for me too. There you go. That will help. That double bubble it. And I'll see whether or not I can't find a way further down. Because I'm a little worried I'm not in the right place. Right, I've bridged across this area. Give myself a little torch wall there. And I'm going to come down... A little bit further because we're, we're not even at y20 yet if there's an ancient city around here it is miles away now i've come down to about we are at now minus 13 which is nice but i wonder if we've got any kind of deep dark biome around here i don't see any sign of it help oh 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 oh, oh. that not just a deep dark biome we know what that is. That's the actual ancient city down there. We just hit payload, people. I do, however, have the awkward position of being a long way up. And as I think we're right next to the portal thing there as well. That would be quite interesting. Let's get myself a water bucket, I think. That might be the way to do it. Let's pop a water bucket down there. Let's see if I'm next to the portal. It's come down. What's this place look like? Oh, my goodness. It looks absolutely fantastic. Look at it. It's huge, this thing. This is awesome. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get ourselves just down a little bit further here. Look at me descending in style. And I'm going to pop myself a couple of blocks there and there and there. And I'm just going to step onto them because I want to go down onto the portal because that's what you do. And you go down 
onto the portal itself. There you go. That's what we're talking about. I'm just going to take a night vision potion so everybody can actually see. I can confirm that standing on this portal does absolutely nothing. Although I know you already knew that. So I'm going to get myself down here. Now I'm looking around for there's sensors. I'm not worried about sensors. What I'm worried about are shriekers. So if I just dump down there, that's okay. There's nothing going on. I think I just opened up the thing underneath it though. So that's quite nice because I heard the piston go. We've got a number of candles which I could probably steal. Actually, I think I might actually steal some of these candles. Let's pop down a shulker box. I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff that I've got in here because we don't need all of that junk at all, do we? Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that bucket. I need to keep that other bucket. Um, I'm going to pick up these candles. Let's have these. We like candles. I can use those all around Avamancy, save me having to make the candles myself. There is a shulker going absolutely mental just over here. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. You go. Thank you very much. I'll take you just in case you cause any problems. Carry on getting the rest of these candles. That's not too bad. A stack and a half of those. I'll take that. And then I'm also going to take a look in this box here. And we've got a golden apple in the chest too. That's quite nice. I'm going to get rid of the chest so as if someone else comes here, they don't get excited about it. I'm going to take back this. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to pop it back down again. I'm going to place things like candles in it because we don't need those. I'm going to get rid of that. And we're just going to have a little look around, I think, because oh, I think my night vision potion is about to wear out. Let's get that in me because I'm quite excited to have a look, but I'm a little bit concerned that obviously we've got shriekers lurking all over the place and you don't get many chances with these things not many at all where are those shriekers i can't see any so i have rather foolishly found myself down in the bottom of this deep dark which was a bit daft i'm going to place down a few torches just so as i kind of know the way back otherwise i'm going to get proper lost so i've got to get back up there that's fine i'm sure i can find it from there now I'm getting into danger territory. I can see some skulk catalysts. I can't see any shriekers at the moment. And I am keep going into sneak mode, obviously. Because if I sneak, nothing will eat me. Well, hopefully nothing will eat me anyway. But what would be quite nice is if there are any of these chests with nice stuff in it. Now, it might be that they've already been looted. I was already told what the coordinates were of this place. So there's every chance it's been completely ransacked with nothing left. I could, of course, grab some of this stock, couldn't I? A little bit of XP never hurt anybody, what do you reckon? It's helping to fix my lighter anyway. I do actually wonder whether someone has been through this and taken away a load of the Shriekers because I would have expected there to be more than what we've seen so far, I have to be honest. Okay, the elytra is fully fixed now. So I'm just, I actually want to see whether or not there are any shriekers around here because it is very quiet. We've already got a number of torches put out here, which makes me think this has been raided quite hard. I'm going to get rid of that a little bit as well. But surely they didn't get all of them. I still need to be quite careful. I'm still very, very nervous. There is a shrieker right there. Well, that's one of my lives. We could end up wardened literally any minute. I've snuck up to the Shrieker and it went again. And I wasn't very happy about it because that means two of my chances have already gone. I've done a bit of a sneak the other way. I am going to drink some more night vision po- Oh, I didn't mean to place that torch. Please don't let there be a Shrieker somewhere. I can't see one. I do believe that most of them have been taken. There is two over there though. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. You can go as much as you want, mates, because there's nothing around you. So I'm just having a go around here because... Often, when you get these little alcoves here, there are some chests. Now, with those shriekers, yeah, there's a chest there. But look, there are literally there's three shriekers. If I try and get these shriekers, what's going to happen is they're going to set them off, aren't they? I've got a sensor up there. Let's see if I can get rid of this shrieker first off, because I can't open that chest. Uh-oh. Right, I'm just going to be very careful, because I think... I've only got one more life. I'm not going to get that chest, am I? I'm not going to do it. Let me try again. I think this is probably the stupidest idea I've ever, ever had. So if I do that, that's going to be it, isn't it? Hang on. Let me get out of the way. Because that's not what we wanted. Okay, I'm going to go back this way. I'm a little... 
I'm such an idiot. Why on earth did I do that? That he's sniffing me out. He's proper sniffing me out. If I come this way, hopefully I can get out of his way. But he's going to know. He's going to know. I don't... I can't... I can't tussle with him because he's well, well harder. He's much harder than I am. Why am I going towards him then? I'm an idiot. He can smell me and I'm walking towards the fella because I want to see him. There he is. Look. He's walking through there. I can see him. Can he see me? No. He doesn't know I'm here. I'm having a bit of a sneak. He's having a bit of a sniff. I'm waiting for him to turn around. He's making me very... No, no he's walking the other way. I might have got away with this. I don't like the noise. It's so loud in your ears, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Warden, you're going the wrong way. You're going to despawn any second. And I may have just... Let him know where I was. I'm sneaking across this way. Oh, he went back in. He went back in. That's good. So if I can get rid of this shrieker, then I should theoretically be able to get that chest as well, right? Is that how it works? If I get that shrieker there. There we go. Now, there's no shrieker to get done by. So I open that. And look at all this. We've got all this loot. I'm having that. Magic, bottles enchanting, name tags, all sorts. That. Why has that just gone dark? Oh, my potion ran out. That's all right. I don't mind the potion running out. Drink another potion. Get in there, mate. There you go. Jobs are good. And right. Get all of this. You need it all. Well, I don't actually need any of it. Not at the moment. But it's fun to get it anyway. I'm genuinely quaking in my boots right now. We've even got some diamond here, so I'm having that. Is only the one? I'll take the one, I don't mind. Right, so anything around it, I'm just watching for more shriekers, because, yep, there's more there. That's not good. That's not good, because he's going to come again. I don't know where from. I don't know where he's come from. That's the problem. Where is he? He's over there. He's going to come from that. Come from that shriek. Where is he? Don't you sni- There he is. Right, I'm running. I'm running away, because he scares me a really lot. I think, yes, he's coming. I'm coming. I might have to. It's worth running away from him with a. Is he still coming? Surely not. No, oh, my goodness, he is. Oh, no, he done me. He done me. And yes, obviously, <laughs> that was going to happen. I was more than just a little daft and I literally brought it upon myself. And now I've got to go back to my grave and get the stuff that I just dropped. Thank goodness for the graves perk. And this little thing here that is going to direct me exactly where I died. So we've got ourselves down here. I know the warden is down there. I can hear him, but I can't see him. And I'm not entirely sure where he is. He's probably quite close to the grave. So I think I'm just going to chill up here until I hear him bury himself again. Hilariously, the warden is currently distracted by bats. So I'm just going to open this up. And I'm going to grab my stuff out of it as quickly as I possibly can. And I'm going to bolt it the other way. Because what I don't want is for the warden to start coming and seeing me. That would be bad. Right, so E. Hang on. I'm just going to put this armour on. I can still get that in there. I'm going to I'm going to drop something. What am I going to have to drop? I'm going to have to drop. Get rid of the bottles. There we go. Because I want the arrows. Otherwise, I can't shoot anything. Empty bucket's fine. One potion night of vision. I can cope with that. I think that's it. I'd, I'm going. I'm off. Well, that was an adventure. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get myself back up and back to base. Because there's only so much excitement I can take in one day. So let's just take stock of what we actually achieved there. We got one diamond, one golden apple, a lead, three bottles of enchanting, a few little bits and pieces, but frankly not a lot. Eight animethyst shards and I've got loads of them already. And I lost 38 levels of experience. Yeah, it was pretty much for your entertainment and not a lot else. But I have to confess, it was genuinely a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed it too. That's the end of this episode. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. You take it easy now. Bye.